Hey, great to see you. Let's go ahead and uh, create some controversy or a controversy. Let's get this out of the way. I have listened to a lot, at least for a white dude, a lot of uh, Filipino stuff. Pinoy stuff, which apparently I'm allowed to say. Apparently that's cool. Uh, the musicianship and the vo primarily the vocals have been crazy. It's been, you know, it's about four years now dipping my toe in, occasionally Morissette, Daryl Long, uh, Bugoy Drillin, Drylin, um, Michael Pung Panglinen, Panglinen, TNT Boys, SB19. I'm sure there's like different ethnicities like in there, different mixtures of this and that. But I'm telling you all in all, the singing has always been incredible. Now my reactions to TNT go back to about 2019, 2020. So I've included a pl playlist. Check out the playlist if you wanna see the old stuff. Cause I've only really watched them when they were kids. I mean, I guess they're like not adult. I don't know, they're, they're not adults now. I mean, they're just not kids anymore. But anyways, so it's been about two years, I think, since I really reacted to much of their stuff. I definitely heard an older version of this many years ago, but I did not go back and listen to it because I want to listen to this on its own. Because growing up is hard. Growing up is hard, man. Your voice changes, life changes, your perspective changes. So let's see what's going on with Together We Fly. Oh, I should have said Kamustakayo when I started. Which I believe, unless someone told me wrong, is Tagalog for like, hi everybody. I used to say Kamustaka. They're like, you can say Kamustakayo. So, Kamustakayo. Whatever, I don't speak Tagalog. You can tell that I don't speak that. Let's go. They still fighting their adult voice. They're trying to figure it out. That's what I hear anyways. That's a good falsetto. Okay, number one, I'm glad that they're still around doing stuff and they look so happy. Do you, do you know, do you remember? I don't. How long is that window when you're changing into like a man? Where like your voice is squeaky and going up and down and you gotta get used to your new voice. I, I just, I honestly don't remember. Is it like two years? Is it three years? Do you, do you remember? I don't remember. We can be together we fly. No wind that we can break. No dreams that we can, that we can face. Together we fly. Sorry, I'm having a flashback. Uh, when they dressed up as the Bee Gees, it was so good. Oh, what's the, what song do they sing? Is it Heaven something? Dude, that was killer. Anyways, sorry, sidetrack. <laughs> Together we fly, 
Yeah, I got, I, I, you know, I'm always super honest. I'm smiling because I'm happy to see them. This song is not really my vibe. You know, it's a great, great lyrics, great message, but it's not really my vibe of a song. I'm just, it's just, I just remember watching them three years ago, four years ago, three years ago. Just like, it's like you, you root for somebody, like you're excited to see them and you hope for like great things to happen to them. Plus, ooh, ooh, adulthood, <laughs> come on. All kids want to be adults and adults want to be kids. I think that's true, right? Like comedians want to be musicians. Musicians want to be comedians. They both want to be athletes. You always wish you were something else than what you currently are. Watching them transition, transition. It is a transition from kids through puberty into adulthood. It is a transition. Just, it sounds weird to say that word now. And congrats to them. I think it's one of those things where you gotta catch them in a couple more years, you know? Or maybe it's just the song, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of people that I've reacted to who were young and then grew up, right? So like people who are like preteen and then go to the teenage years. And there's also the people who I've caught like, cause I've been doing this for a while. So like people who are in their early 20s, transitioning to their 30s, right? People that are kid prodigies becoming older people. It's really interesting to like follow people and see what's going on with them. And you're like, fingers crossed, you're like fingers crossed, no health, no health problems, no drama problems, don't have any problems in your life that really sets you back because you had the talent, you have the talent, you show the talent, it's just whether or not it makes it to the next phase of your life. Growing up and living is, you know, it's difficult. I mean, it happens naturally. Every day you naturally get a day older, but the things that happen in your life with your friends and your relationships, it's a lot. And it just gets more and more like as you get older. And so when you're looking at other people that are younger than you, even at some point people older than you you start seeing like everything as a as a phase like a window like someone who's 60 becoming 70 becoming 80 it's a lot to take in just like watching someone who's 10 become 20 become 30. maybe this is just my old guy mentality now it's just like there's so much beauty and there's so much to be seen watching people like go through those those phases anyways also I'm, I'm talking about that because that's what's on my mind i've got a lot of nieces and nephews and i got wow i've only got one grandparent left when i used to talk about this i used to say oh i've got a couple grandparents you know a couple turns into one one niece turns into a couple of nieces and nephews. It's life. It's life. I mean that in an uplifting way, but I don't know that I said it in an uplifting way. Whatever. The cliche line is the only thing worse than growing old is not growing old.